Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel on Point Reviews all day, every day. Welcome back, guys. I took a break for about a couple of days to do some important stuff in my life. And of course, it was my birthday the last time I posted up a video. Today, we've got another awesome perfume to review today on the channel. And this is a 2020 release from one of my favorite brands. Now this fragrance here is a 2020 release from Clive Christian, all right? And this one just shocked me. It shocked me when I was on Facebook. This is none other than Crab Apple Blossom from their Crown Collection, all right? Crab Apple Blossom. It's a red bottle. And how I got this was so weird, guys. Like, I was just on my Facebook, like, looking at my newsfeed. And then suddenly, in comes this Clive Christian thing. And they said that they were giving away samples, all right? They were giving it away, just giving it away. And I was like, oh my gosh, dude. This is their latest fragrance. I got to try it. And then I told one of my friends, Ivan, and I told him, like, yo, man, you got to put in your address. And I thought that they were never going to send this. This was about maybe a month ago, but they did, and I got it. And so... Got it in the mail, tried it, and pretty nice feedback on this one, guys, okay? So we're going to talk about this fragrance today. I'm excited. Hopefully, you're excited. Let's go hit the music. <laughs> Okay, we're back guys. Clive Christian Crab Apple Blossom. Here's the vial. I have been wearing this extensively. Let's go try this right now. Whew. Okay, so let's talk about this right now. Crab Apple Blossom. First and foremost, red bottle, gold crown cap very appealing i'm sure that a lot of y'all the moment if you guys are buying like niche fragrances i'm sure the moment you guys saw that this was available you guys jumped on it just based on the bottle color i definitely agree it's a nice red bottle now the opening of clive christian crab apple blossom first maybe seven to ten minutes is some real nice sparkling high-end bergamot i mean this one is nice and citrusy for those citrus lovers that will get you your first star, okay? The moment you spray this on you and you smell it in the air like this, I mean, you're going to get some nice citrus for maybe a good 7 to 10 minutes. Again, high-end bergamot comes in really, really nice. And then after, you're going to get some marine notes, okay? Within maybe the first 10 minutes onward, and that's going to have some salty marine feels to it. Very familiar for those that like marine or aquatic notes. And I would say that it's very gentlemanly, all right? The moment this both of them come in, you got the citrus and the aquatic at the same time. You guys already know that a lot of fragrances, that's what they are already. They're already citrus and aquatic, and then that's it. Most fragrances are already that. This is just the opening, but it's a lovely opening. It's Yes, it's kind of predictable given when you see the notes, it's going to come out. You're going to be like, oh, it smells familiar. Okay, well, yeah, because in the first part, you have citrus and aquatics. I know that driftwood is listed here as a base note, but I actually smell the driftwood with this aquatic notes, all right? It actually enhances it even more and gives it this real nice marine feel. So in the beginning, yeah, it's going to be fresh. It's going to be aquatic. It's going to be bright. It's going to be nice. It's basically, you could say a summery thing. It's almost like a summery scent from the get-go. Now from this point, here is where Clive Christian shows us why they're Clive Christian because the scent will evolve, okay? After the first maybe 15 minutes, in comes this nice apple blossom, all right? Now, apple blossom is like a nice light floral, which has hints of apple, okay? That comes out, changes the whole thing. Right when you thought it was gonna be a predictable citrus and marine, you're gonna get apple blossom. It changes the whole scent, okay? It brings, I would say, a nice springtime vibe, all right? So when you thought you had this summery intro, you're gonna get the springtime vibe of some nice lush apple blossom florals. Comes out real sweet and nice light, okay? And I think that this part here is uh, 
the nicest part when it comes to the sillage, okay? Like when you really, because the thing about the Clive Christian perfumes is that they're very good at the sillage projection longevity department, okay? I have never encountered a Clive Christian that sucks in that department. All of them have very, very good sillage, last very long. You don't even expect that they're gonna last long. But in this one, you really get this nice sillage of apple blossom. It almost feels like you're around a field of these apple blossom flowers because it's real nice. It's all around you. It's around you for most of the time. And it's a nice evolution from, again, the first part. I would say that the apple blossom really provides this extra different whiff. Like, you're going to be like, oh, that's different because it changes, like I said. Now, of course, what they're going to do is on the heart notes, they actually ramp it up. Okay, so they actually introduce two other notes on this fragrance. One of it is rhubarb, okay, which is, if I could describe it, it's actually a vegetable, but it's very uh, citrus, berry-like, herbaceous, somewhat earthy uh, type of note. And then they also include like a mojito accord, all right? The mojito accord is, you could say it's kind of sparkling, minty, uh, but is mostly, in my opinion, cucumber, okay? And this is... A very similar thing I've seen on Roses on Ice, you know, or the Killian ones. I forgot the other one. Was it, it was like the green bottle, green and white, but I had that too. And it's like, it had that same mojito vibe and you will get that on the heart notes. So you get this nice mojito cucumber vibe as well as some nice rhubarb coming in. So once that comes in, you know, it's totally different from that point. You know, you would think that in the beginning you had a very predictable start, but then once the apple blossom comes in, rhubarb, mojito, totally different, okay? Now, what I really like about this fragrance is how androgynous it is, okay? It's so hard to classify this as just a masculine or a feminine scent, you know? Uh, sometimes... I would write it off as like a masculine scent because of the marine notes, the driftwood, the citrus in the beginning, and then out of nowhere comes apple blossom, all right? And then the rhubarb. And then I'm just like, nah, it can't be completely a, a masculine scent. And then sometimes I'll be sniffing this and I would get the apple blossom and I would get the mojito. And I, I would be like, oh man, this is so femme. Like I can imagine the ladies wearing this. But then, you know, in comes the woody notes, in comes, you know, the marine notes. And it's like, oh man, no, it's very, very unisex. So that's one thing I like about this fragrance. I think that both men and women will enjoy this. And adding, if you add that crazy nice sea arch around you, that nice scent aura or scent bubble, whatever you want to, you know, call it. I think that, I mean, it will bring the springtime to you or the summertime to you. So for those that miss that season, all right, or if you want to buy it for the upcoming spring, summer next year, I think that this is great, you know, but I think it's all weather. I think that you can wear this even in the fall uh, season. There's this mojito accord that, like I said, it's really nice for this type of weather. In my opinion, this fragrance is sort of related to Rock Rose, you know, I did a video on Rock Rose probably like a month ago and the way I saw Rock Rose was that it was like an elegant nobility grabber for men and Rock Rose when you spray it on you part of you will feel like it's familiar okay because a lot of the notes in Rock Rose are probably in other fragrances all right but then again it evolves and it performs very very well and that's why people love Rock Rose, because it evolves and it performs very well. I think that this is in the same boat in terms of the guys. When you spray this for the first maybe 15 minutes, you're going to feel like you know this fragrance. You know, of course, marine notes are so second nature to us guys. Citrus, marine notes, woody notes, driftwood. I mean, all those things are kind of familiar. But like I said, you know, once it kind of evolves into that nice herbaceous rhubarb, that berry-like scent with this mojito accord. And then you got apple blossom to add to the marine notes and the woody notes. Um, it, it changes things and it's very, very similar to how Rock Rose made me feel. I was, just came to the conclusion that it was like a nobility grabber. It was like a grabber that would make you feel noble and elegant and expensive. I feel like this fragrance here is the same thing. But then when I think about the women, 
man, I think about how awesome this would be for the ladies. I think the ladies would enjoy this too. Why? Because it would be nice to get that springtime aura from you girls, right? I mean, if you ladies wore this, not only would it be elegant because of like the citrus, because of the woody notes, but then it would be like nice springtime aura from you gals, you know? It'd be like that apple blossom. And then at the same time, you got this adventurous mojito rhubarb combination. Sounds very adventurous, sounds very daring. And so I think that uh, it would make a statement on top of that nice springtime flowers feel that you're gonna get with this fragrance. I think that the only way you get disappointed with this is if you blind bought it and you expected something like super crazy, okay? You're not gonna get super crazy with this, okay? I've seen people buy this, uh, the bottle, and then sell it immediately, probably because they expected something magical. And rightfully so, it's $450. But you know, that's why I do these videos, right? I do these videos to tell you guys what you can expect. And I'm telling you right now that it's not a shocking, crazy fragrance. I really think that it's very much like Rock Rose, which is like an elegant grabber with amazing performance that you can wear really day in, day out. I think that it's a nice experience, but it's not overwhelmingly crazy. I don't think that it's gonna be uh, mind-blowing, but I think that it is something you could wear to simply smell good, elegant, and amazing in any climate, any weather, any season. And what I find really cool is that every time I get a whiff of this thing, this crab apple blossom, I get different things. So that's really cool. If you are that type that, you know, every time you get a whiff, you, you, you don't know which one's coming, I think that you're gonna like this fragrance because sometimes I'll, I'll get a sniff of myself, I'll get a whiff while I'm driving, and then I'll get the marine notes. And then sometimes I'll get apple blossom. And I'll take another whiff like maybe like 30 minutes later, and then I'll get that rhubarb, I'll get that mojito. So it's really cool in my opinion. I think that it does that, it will give you different sensations or different things that you can smell. That's why I said it was like, highly androgynous i really couldn't tell because sometimes i could smell those masculine notes and sometimes it would be feminine notes but one thing's for sure you're gonna have that nice sillage like i said that nice performance of this fragrance around you and it smells damn good bottom line okay so that's it that is my video on clive christian crab apple blossom 2020 that is their new perfume. Again, it's $450, but I have to congratulate Clive Christian for doing such a thing as in giving away samples. That is so awesome. I was just mentioning this on one of my other videos when I said like, man, you can't play this mysterious angle because eventually that's going to be bad for business. What you want to do is you want to give samples away so people like me can test it, tell the public what it's like, and even have the public test it so they know for sure. So Props to Clive Christian for doing this. Even if they're the most or one of the most expensive brands out there, they know what's going on with the market. So that's really good for them that they try to do that. Okay, so if you're into Clive Christian, make sure you watch my other videos on Clive Christian, okay? And make sure to like and subscribe if you are down with Clive Christian and other niche fragrances. We're not gonna stop. We got a bunch more other fragrances coming in okay guys and make sure to join the community tab so you can vote on what most likely will come up next on this channel i really needed to get this one out there because i thought that this one rocked it's not a super crazy fragrance but i think it's absolutely 100 percent 101 percent wearable elegant nice nobility fragrance right there from clive christian all right that's it guys have a great weekend this is troy d peace out